so I know it can be a bit overwhelming, but I'm here to tell you there's nothing to worry about. You'll be fine. So let's just focus on getting you through your first week, okay? Uh, let's see. First, there's an introductory greeting from the company that I'm supposed to read. It's kind of a legal thing, you know. Um, welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, a magical place for kids and grown-ups alike, where fantasy and fun come to life. Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for damage to property or person. Upon discovering that damage or death has occurred, a missing person report will be filed within 90 days or as soon as property and premises have been thoroughly cleaned and bleached and the carpets have been replaced. Blah, blah, blah. Now, that might sound bad, I know, but there's really nothing to worry about. Uh, the animatronic characters here do get a bit quirky at night, but do I blame them? No. If I were forced to sing those same stupid songs for 20 years and I never got a bath, I'd probably be a bit irritable at night, too. So remember, these characters hold a special place in the hearts of children. We need to show them a little respect, right? Okay. So just be aware, the characters do tend to wander a bit. Uh, they're left in some kind of free roaming mode at night. Uh, something about their servos locking up they get turned off for too long. Uh, they used to be allowed to walk around during the day, too. But then there was the bite of 87. Yeah. Okay, so that's even on the human body can live without the frontal lobe, you know. Uh, now concerning What's your that? safety, the only real risk to you as a I'm night watchman here, if any, is the you fact that you these you characters, uh, if they happen to see you after hours, probably won't recognize you as a person. They'll, they'll most likely see you as a metal endoskeleton without its costume. I bet you've told now, since that's against the rules here at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, they'll probably try to forcefully stuff you inside a Freddy Fazbear suit. Um, now, that wouldn't be so bad if the suits themselves weren't filled with cross beams, wires, and animatronic devices, especially around the facial area. So you can imagine how having your head forced to be inside one of those could cause a bit of discomfort. And dead. Uh, the only parts of you that would like to see the light of day again would be your eyeballs and teeth to pop up in front of the mask here. Yeah, they don't tell you these things when you sign up. But hey, first day of the breeze. I'll chat with you tomorrow. Uh, check those cameras and remember to close the doors only if absolutely necessary. You gotta conserve power. Alright, good night. He's a fox! What color are you? Fox. Give this. So you're really fucked up. to UTC. Definitely GPUTC. It's a STEM school. It's the best school around Peterborough. Oh shit, I just gave my location. Where the fuck is Bonnie? 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 Fuck, where's Bonnie? 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 Where's Bonnie?
Where the fuck is Bonnie? <laughs> Fuck's sake. Oh, Bonnie's there. Chica's still there. Okay, I know where Bonnie is. <laughs> Fucking thing is, I'm on 54 and it's only 3 a.m. Yeah. Now I'm on 4 a.m. <gasps> Fucking hell! He's there! <gasps> Fucking hell! <laughs> hey, mate! Fuck you. <laughs> Where is Bonnet? Oh, there he is. Oh, sh fucking hell! <laughs> fucking go away, Bonnie. Please. I'm on 4 a.m. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh, you're in the hallway. Okay, you're in the hallway. Speak for good luck. It's 4 a.m. I hope I win. The next video is going to be FNAF 2 night one, and then FNAF 3 night one, and then FNAF 4 night one, and then FNAF 5, and then Sister Location night one, then Pizzeria Simulator night one, and well, day one. Right, Chica's in the kitchen! <laughs> it's 5 a.m. Come on, guys. Oh, by the way, shout out. Yeah, I think I've said this already, right? Uh, shout out to UTC, the best school ever. Really? No one knew that? Thank you guys, see you next video.